All right, we got an English build here. We got a one base English just doing super aggressive stuff with longbowmen and or pikes, kind of depending on the situation. I think English is a great sieve. I definitely put it in my top four right now at the very least on sieves I play just because they're pretty versatile. You can get good one base longbowmen kind of strategy going out as we're going to be showing here today. But also you can go ahead and expand and it's pretty chill and not too bad. Pretty versatile in that sense. Maybe a little bit weaker going into castle age than other sieves because of the need to make farms and not having the bonuses the other sieves have without the farms and stuff like that. But I'd say pretty good all around your sieve and definitely a good pick if you're just starting for the game for the first time. Um, just seven on food here, going straight to gold after this. We want to get three on gold. Nothing too exciting to see here. Just going to fast forward a little bit. A lot of stuff you probably have already seen. Just really want to get those sheep figured out. And this kind of build, this one base longbowman kind of build, just rallying, just pure aggression is great versus a lot of sieves that don't have knights. You know, like Mongols are, are just fantastic against. Abbasid, Chinese, you name it. You'll just have great times. And versus knights, it's a little bit more tricky, especially versus the French if they get really early knights. But you just gotta put down a barracks right after your council hall and then group up a little bit more and then you're you're pretty much set good to go. And might have to rely a little bit more on a follow-up ram timing, but we'll kind of go through all the stages of this build as we go through it and just kind of walk you through what I'm thinking. So we have a bunch of, on, bunch of workers on wood here right after we got seven on food, three on gold. Put those three straight to the council hall and they're building it right now. Now we're just rallying onto wood from here. But you'll notice we're scouting a lot and we're seeing an early stable. We found on a silver tree, absolutely great landmark for him. So we're going to watch out for that. Looking out for the market. We see the market on this left side, so we're keeping note of that as we play, but the immediate threat is the horsemen. So just right away putting on the barracks and it's all good to go because we have this wood production kind of coming in non-stop here. Now you'll notice after the council hall finished, we actually put a couple on gold here. Actually just leaving the one on gold. We're just gonna get a trickle in because We'll need that campfire and we'll eventually want siege engineering from the blacksmith. So having a little bit of gold is nice. Just put two on there for the campfire and then we just left one on there after that because we're not in too much of a rush. So as we kind of move into this pike archer setup, longbowman setup, we kind of move out with a couple pikes because we know we're safe. We're good to go with a couple pikes. We got a three here and Absolutely, if you can hunt, I mean, this is all ties, one of the easiest maps to hunt on, but if you can ever hunt, it's great to do so. You might not have as much room as you would with the like French knights and stuff like that taking map control, but I mean, he's going to have to respond to these archers moving across the map, so we know exactly where these horsemen are and we are just free to hunt. Now, something, note, something important to note is if you don't have a great hunt and it's not super close, maybe it's like Behind, behind a mountain and it's just this crazy stuff you can just go ahead and take some berries berries are absolutely fine but you just have to re-manage your economy a little bit like in this case we're we're not going to go too much more on food we're actually going to go on wood from here on out but if you had berries you might have to do a little bit more on the food just because years give you so much punch for their pack um but right here we're just kind of poking around. So with this build, you really want to be aggressive as quickly as possible. Versus another sieve, we might see that they're going for stone early on, and then we'll rally our very, very first longbowman. But because we know he's going stables, we kind of waited a little longer. We got some pikemen. After the three pikemen, we moved out. So there's a little bit of adjustments you have to make each sieve. Again, if they have knights, you want to you want to wait for a couple pikemen the same way. Just make his barracks and kind of move out in a unit and we're kind of moving our units out in packs we're kind of clumping them in groups because we don't want to get caught by any horsemen kind of cutting off reinforcements and stuff but 
We absolutely don't want them to get a tower up. Towers are really, really good versus archers and stuff like that. And we don't have a lot of pikes to get that building damage. So we just want to control the area as much as possible. Get as much in their face as possible around this town center up here. We're trying to avoid that town center as the best we possibly can. But holding up a little spot like this and then putting up palings is just fantastic. We got great vision with the scout. We're staying in our campfire. Putting up palings every now and then if we're feeling a little nervous, but just little groups of reinforcements. So you'll see back here, we actually made a blacksmith and we're getting siege engineering here. And that's going to allow us to really get into this base because we're keeping up this powerful archer number, but we can't quite get enough for the, getting into that town center's range. And the ram will just soak up all that damage for our, our rangers and hikes and all that so getting at least one is fantastic for that very reason just because we can't quite kill them yet now you could get more than one ram just to actually just try to kill the town center but i i think if you have a a really good timing that you're confident with and you think you have more units then you should absolutely go with just one ram just because you want to take advantage of that timing the quickness to let them get any chance to build up any more than you do so we're probably just going to go for one ram. Yeah, we're getting our one ram now, killing that tower first, put down the ram. But as you can see here, we're just rallying only into wood because wood is all we need to get more rams. And we're doing pretty good on the food. Again, if this was berries, you might have a little bit more in food, but this is kind of the, the setup you want to go for in your games. Sneak in villagers whenever you can after you get long bowmen and scouts, but it's pretty simple, right? Just two production buildings, kind of squeezing in whenever you can. And at this point now we're rallying across the map, just trying to get as much pressure in as possible. We know their units are over here. We've been seeing it for a while now. And we're just pumping in a lot of damage. Now, this is a build that I've had a lot of fun with personally. And I think uh, it definitely will have a place in the meta no matter what, you know, just kind of as a threat that something English can do. Um, you know, maybe people get better and they, they start figuring out the the tricks and stuff to how to beat it, but at the end of the day, it really is all about execution and micro. It, what you're doing when you put yourself in these kind of games is you're just saying like, you know, I think I can micro better than you. I think I can outplay you. And it's really, just full on like uh, you know if you ever played StarCraft 2 I have a lot of StarCraft 2 viewers it's just like Marines and medevacs just saying hey you know, I'm going 2 on 1 I'm just gonna out micro you I'm gonna kill you with just basic units that's basically what this English build is and I I hope anybody who watches this gives it a try and enjoys it and has a good time I know I've had some different people uh, I know try it out and they've liked it a lot I've personally liked it a lot and let me know if you try it and you enjoy it. And that's pretty much the game. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for more guides.